I said the things that happen in between takes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going through a transformation. Okay. That was happening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, help I quit my... Hey, everybody. <laughs> well, welcome back to my channel. It's uh, Reverse BLT here. I'm joined today by... Uh, Mother of Bacon, it's my mom. And, Hello, uh, everyone. She's hanging out with me today, and we're <laughs> binge watching uh, season one of The Expanse, and we just got to episode eight. Eight. Salvage. So, what are your thoughts on that title, Ma? Well, we know that the la <laughs> the last time we you joined us, uh, they were um, on their way to a mission, and supposedly this mission was. In the, um, somewhere in the, um, well, I say some They're type of meeting. They're an asteroid belt. Yeah, some type of So they went to belt. an asteroid. So, um, in one of the previous episodes, we saw where somebody was out there salvaging an asteroid. So that's the only thing that I can see. They back out there. I think they go pick up a straggler, but that's just my One idea. other thing, though. So, remember, they were being sent out to try and find... Uh, Fred Johnson's missing um, asset, right? That's what they were told. Lionel Polanski. Now, remember when you do search and rescue missions? Mm -hmm. What do you always start with? You have a recovery, right? But if you're doing a, you know, like a ship, for instance, it's you go out. If you're first doing search and recover, search and rescue, then it transitions to a recovery mission, then it transitions to a salvage mission. Salvaging so, all the lives. You, you, well, That's what you salvaging. Sal salvage mission is when there's no one to save. You know what I mean? So you're they're just salvaging all the lives. That's so what they're do you think doing. That has to do with the title, or do you think it's something else? Because they were sent out here as on a basically a search and rescue mission. Yeah, but these are the craziest missions. <laughs> I'm just not sure about these missions that they're going on. It's always a surprise. Let's put it like that. And they still have the spy. On still the got their new crew member. <laughs> on the, on the, the spy. Ship. And Amos. Uh, Amos still trying to kill people. Amos is Amos. Is Amos. Naomi he's is. He's like a uh, pot boiling over, which I'm concerned about our little, he's like our the, little fish stew in there. It's like the quietest pot something. boiling over I've ever. Uh, well, I should probably go ahead. You, you can keep Just, talking. Just, so just bear with us a, a moment because we also about what you think is going to happen. We're also cooking and stuff. So, well, I'm mostly monitoring, but he's cooking, and um, no, and we're having fish stew. It's fine. It's but it's doing a nice simmer. Miller is also on his way somewhere. He's on his way to Eros. So it's amazing how all of them is headed towards the same place. Yeah, he's going to Eros because he's he's uh, following up on that lead because when he. We need radio a while back, weeks ago, to his buddy who's stationed on Eros, who's also in security, or, you know, a cop. But everybody's um, going to Eros. Asking him whether or not the Anubis showed up there, because he had a flight path saying it was going to go there. But the Anubis never showed up. So his friend was telling him, Anubis never showed up, but one of its shuttles did. And so he's going there to see if maybe Julie was on board that shuttle. But everybody's going to Eros. Well... The Rosa Nazis are not actually going to Eros yet. They're they're over at that asteroid. Well, they got to pick up the guy that's, that's out in space. Looking for Lionel Polanski, right? Well, they got to so, pick him up first. So that's pretty much where we're at right now. Navasarala had her little uh, heart to heart with uh, Mother Prime, is what I well, call her. Well, if Holden's, that's what you want to call what she had, Holden's primary mother, um, and she was going to go and have the spy arrange to have Holden taken into custody so that she can interrogate him. The spy is in custody. Crucially, she no longer <laughs> believes that Holden was responsible for destroying the stuff. I don't so, know that she believed it in the first place. She believed it because of the information she had. You got to remember, she she doesn't know all the stuff we know, you know. So, and that's one of the reasons why she went to see his mother was to find out psychological information so she could make a decision to herself: was this, what is this guy's level of involvement? Because what she was seeing on paper wasn't matching up. You know what I mean? So the person she saw. From from all the data that she had about him, 
didn't make sense to her. So she's trying looking for a missing piece. Like he doesn't seem like the kind of person who would do all this stuff. But maybe well, I'm she's wrong. She's you know not I mean? making much so, sense to me. But she's yeah, playing a very, plays a very dangerous game. High level game. So, but but it's a very dangerous. But her game. boss overrode her because he's decided that Holden's dangerous because he's in league with Fred Johnson apparently. So he's just gonna have him killed. Are you lying to me, boy? Yes. That's what well, he's him gonna think he's gonna have him killed. Well, that's the plan anyway. Okay. Let's see how that works. Maybe they're trying to salvage a plan or something. <laughs> Get this underway. Whole bunch of plans. <laughs> I would like to ship one OPA recon uh -oh. series. The name of that ship is the Scumpy Line. I need this frigate to retrieve the lone survivor flat on the landscape. Our routine surveillance of diplomatic corps logged an urgent communicate between Ambassador de Graff and his counterpart on Mars. I need to de Graff that Mars was giving static pink to the OPA. My diplomatic credentials have been revoked. I've been banned from Mars for life. A lot of Martians gave their lives because it's not Oh, ship. the thumping you heard wasn't the soup, it's the fridge. Oh! It's the motor in the fridge. That's what I'm saying. It's going to start to go bad. See how many things go on while, you know, watching the um, episode? I've seen the cars attack from Tycho for two years now. Miller, you're fired. Like some bad virus. You just can't shake. Man. Well, I'm just yeah, waiting to see what's the significance of these birds that show up. It's symbolism. Every so often, the Miller. <laughs> I think it's symbolism. Naomi was right to be afraid of you. You need someone to watch your back, a partner. We'll have the asset back him and bring him home for a long chat. Your corporate spine's been compromised. His final report said that Holden was heading for Eros and a converted MCRN gunship with fake transponder code supplied by Fred Johnson. So I'm activating a black ops team. We're taking Holden off the board. I don't know if you noticed it. So I noticed them immediately because I, I, I recognize their, their uniforms. But the guy that went past? No, the guy sitting across from me was just watching. First time. Eats. First time what? First time in space. Oh. <sighs> Series born and raised that. They say if you grow up on the station, you develop a natural agoraphobia from living underground in the tunnels. You're not used to the wide open spaces. Now you, you see why there were so many people who looked scared? You just, you just looked a little nervous. That's all. You know, if you identify the fear, you can get past it. And then you get used to it. I've been flying once a month for the past year and a half. Salesman? No, I'm not. I prepare myself for the Nabu. Nabu. Mm. Marvin. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. Yes. A different kind of salesman. <laughs> but don't hold that against hey. me. Hey. Uh, there was a time. Everybody's gone to space. <laughs> well, the Mormons believe that we came from space. So. Not anymore. Makes sense that they would want to go out there, look for the uh, planet to get these gods from. I don't get the impression you're a man who has accepted Jesus Christ in his heart. Mm. He's not that desperate. We all are. <laughs> oh. If we're being honest with us. Oh, Miller, I love you. You guys are going to get on this big ship uh, and ride out the great beyond. Yeah, well, that's for what they years. believe. What happens when you get out there? That's not. That big planet you got picked out it ain't worth a damn. I mean, nobody really knows what's out there. You can't come back. Well, you're right about not coming back. But if that is the case, God has just revealed to us that we haven't finished our search yet. This is a little embarrassing. Goodbye now! <laughs> Yeah, but you can't, you can't go forward either. Yeah, of course it does. You only have enough gas to. I mean, well, I'm put myself in the hands of God. I'll admit I respect him. I risk. respect this. Uh, you know, and with great risk comes. Yeah, yeah, I know this. I respect the fact that the fact that he's not delusional about the possibility that they'll find nothing. Who knows? You guys might be getting out at just the right time. Hmm. <laughs> oh look, it's Maroni. Oh gosh. We got a Statue of Liberty in uh, space. It's not a Statue of Liberty, it's a Statue of the Angel Moroni that the uh, Mormons believe gave the revelation. But look, they got an angel in space. You no, know, on their on their ship. And there's Tycho. And it's big. Yes. Well, it's nothing compared to the ship itself. 
seems the biggest ship this ever for sure. As far as you got, a lot of Martian soldiers gave their lives with this information. I need to know why. Mm. We'll be on the doorstep in three days, and that's not enough time for Fred Johnson to dismantle and hide an entire stealth tech program, is it? Yeah, that's assuming that they had it in the first place. We'll find something. Oh, I love her. Sorry, is that really new? And search that station. Tycho is an Earth Corp. We have jurisdiction. The Belters won't see it that way. They'll think we're lying, and the OPA will make sure of it. It's done. Moving on. Hmm. What now? Frank DeGraff was found dead in his home as well. He took his own life. Jesus. See what you need? I'm so sorry. You can finish later. You can See what you now. did? You never said. It's like we can finish later, so we can finish now. Sir, the Nathan Hale is just slipped and is decelerating towards us at full burn. They have repeated their request to dock for repairs, blaming a reactor malfunction, but we believe they're deliberately altering their drive signature. It's a trap! What's their ETA? Roughly two days, sir. Keep me close. Mm. You said you cracked it. Oh, it's not a letter to a wife. It's not. It's a real-time tactical record of the Doninger battle, right down to the millisecond, with full sensor logs and analysis. Wow. It's supposed to come directly from the CIC. They also got high-res images of the attacking ships. Were they able to identify it? Not from what I can see here, but they were able to collect highly detailed drive signatures. Well, they did fly closer to those ships than anyone else in the system. Unfortunately for them. You're going to want to see this for yourself. So what are you going to do now? Wait a minute, what did you see? What did you see? This place used to be the jewel. I want to know what you saw. I'm not going to see it in his heyday. Tell 